What's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh out here with Infinite Bassin. Today we are on Lake Berryessa. It has been uh, quite some time since I've been here so this is just a fun day of fishing. We're gonna see if we can uh, hit some new spots and try some new techniques and uh, see if we can't get on the bass. Got my buddy Justin out here. You guys saw him in my last video out there on Lake Oroville, that tournament we did out there. Um, he's gonna try to one-up me on this one and see if he can't pull out a pull out the uh, numbers game on me today. So uh, we're gonna see what happens. We'll see you guys out there. guys so our first spot didn't didn't really pan out kind of just using this day to find new places to fish out here and we marked absolutely nothing back there in that cut uh, been driving around for a little bit now trying to figure out where these guys are at and so far the only thing that we've really seen is the uh, bait balls and a couple fish deep around you know, 75, 80 feet is where we've been seeing these bait balls. This point that's up in front of us here, we pulled up to there. It's probably about 25 feet is where they were hanging out at, literally right at the top of the, right at the top of the point. So we're going to see what happens when the sun comes up and blows this fog off. But right now it looks like we're going to be fishing deep off of these points to, to get anything because there's nothing that we found that's that's shallow so let's see how this goes something just surfaced right there by my line that was bass oh absolutely Jerk bait. Smally. Too. Yeah, let's keep him in the live well for a bit. We'll weigh him in a second, see if we can't get. You 
missed him. Small, so it's hard yeah, yeah, it kind of. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was. His stomach's coming out. <laughs> that is a small way. <laughs> yeah, usually those ones, if you can get them right back in the water, they'll uh, they'll go right back down and be fine. Let's go pick up the old shot of drop and see what happens. Two. Oh. <laughs> Shit, this is what we need right here. I love that spot lock. This tree that's right there. Look at that. Look at that. who's driving the boat. GPS is driving the boat. See if we can get our stuff back. guys come down 
fail for the stop and pause. He's not big, but if we don't come up with anything else, <laughs> we've got two four pitcher at least. Oh, Alright guys, we uh, did a little running around the lake, coming up to a new spot. Back where we were at before, we were seeing a lot of fish, but we think they were trout. I was uh, throwing the jerk bait out and ended up catching two of them back there. Hooked two and lost them both of them right at the boat. So we were figuring with the how little the blow ups were in front of us and around the area that they were, you know, smaller sized trout. So we ended up leaving after the second one and pushed a little bit further north. I'm sure all of you who fish Berryessa know where we're at right now, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what we can get out here. Actually can contribute to the friends. He's a fat little guy too. Yeah, he is. Not too bad. Nope, they a little bit of fun. Some, definitely got some bigger ones in here though. Yeah, that water's so clear. He's like about as small as I thought he was. Hey, it's a jig fish. There we go, Joe. Right through the nostrils. As usual. Definitely could do a little better. Hey, a fish is a fish. It's better than not catching anything. It does. You are right back up there with me. Alright guys, we uh, are calling it a day. It is 3.30. The bite has completely turned off, and uh, we haven't had a, had one in a, a while, so we're gonna call it here. Uh, if any of you guys were wondering, nobody won today because we both tied it four bass. I hooked two trout, but didn't get them in the boat, so they don't count. But four each for the day, and uh, we'll just have to wrap this up at a different lake next time. All right, we'll catch you guys on the next one.